Two weeks ago, we saw the peril of a parent favoring one child over the other child. We saw how Jacob indulged in this common frailty and how it caused his sons to hate Joseph. It may seem like a great life being the favored child, but it can become quite a mess. Now, I want to preface all of my remaining material in this video with an important note. I do understand that this was the means by which Joseph ended up in Egypt and how Jacob's posterity was preserved. Although all of that is true, we're not to exonerate Jacob or his sons for any wrongdoing that may have been done. We also don't need to be harder on any of them than Joseph or Jacob may have been. Let's just learn lessons and try to make ourselves the best that we can be. Because of their hatred toward Joseph, his brothers had murder in their heart. When he comes to seek news of them for his father, his brothers say to each other, Here comes this dreamer. Now then, come and let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits, and we will say a wild beast devoured him. Then let us see what will become of his dreams. This is in Genesis 37, 19 through 20. Time is certainly not mellowing their anger. It is seething within them. Their hatred is clearly eating at them, and it's deep within them. This reminds me of another passage in Hebrews 12, 15, where we read, See to it that no one comes short of the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springing up causes trouble. This was applied to Esau in this context, but it applies quite well to the murder in the hearts of Joseph's brothers. Bitterness can eat us up from the inside out. After all the troubles it caused Joseph, it could have eaten him alive, but it didn't. Why didn't it? Let's fast forward and let him reveal his attitude in all of this. And now do not be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. And then going on in verse 7, And God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant in the earth and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Now therefore it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of all his household and ruler over all the land of Egypt. That's Genesis 45, verses 5 through 8. Joseph isn't saying his brothers didn't really put him in the hands of slave traders sending him to Egypt. What he is saying is that it had a greater purpose than the hatred that they intended. And Joseph was looking beyond their act to see the one who preserved their family. I believe I can detect a spirit of forgiveness here. Forgiveness is the root killer that destroys bitterness so we can live with the past, with others, and with ourselves.